Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ryan, and I am with... Chuck! What's up, guys? How you what's doing? Up? So, uh, we uh, played a little For Honor the other day. Um, we used to play quite a bit uh, yeah. when the first game the game first came out, and uh, we loved it. But we took a break, so we decided to get back into it. Uh, this is me, Ryan, right now, playing the Nabushi, my favorite class. And uh, Chuck is with me playing the Orochi in the 2v2. Yeah! Yeah, we, um, in the beginning, we actually played the, the beta for a good 72 hours the entire time it was up. We went hard on we that really beta. Did. I, we took breaks to eat and sleep, but even that was few and far between. So we sunk a lot of hours into this in the beginning, but after we took a break and came back, this game's just a completely different beast. Yeah, uh, people are just a lot better, generally, and they're just... Certain things that were hard to do at the beginning are just becoming staples of how you play, like pairing all the time. Yeah, and, pairing's uh, a big thing. Everybody yeah. parries now. Yeah, and just mastering your guard breaks and canceling the opponent's guard breaks is just huge. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm playing the Nabushi, like I said. I played this class pretty much strictly in the beta. And Yeah, that was. this is your go-to class. I think I am rank four? No, three. Three. I'm about to be four. Um, and uh, I just love this character. I play the Berserker a little bit, but th this is definitely my favorite because it's just all about spacing and it's this weird combination of a defensive but very offensive playstyle because um, you gotta keep your spacing, but at the same time you go really hard once you uh, have your opportunity. Absolutely, it's a, it's a perfect balance between when to engage and when to stay back. That combo? That, that's literally the only combo I do. <laughs> that, that is the <laughs> combo to win. Yeah. Uh, as Nabushi really. It's just, and, and like, I'm, I'm not good at this game. I'm definitely not good. I played a lot of Dark Souls PvP, so I was really excited for this. Um, but I'm definitely not as good as most of the people that play this. So if, if I don't hit my combo, I'm kind of like dead in the water. <laughs> yeah, the, this game has uh, become something where the player base will punish you for the slightest mistake. Uh, it, it's created a much more hardcore player base, I think. Yeah, definitely. And I think I think I get ripped by this guy. <laughs> I killed his friend. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but um, we play we played these guys twice. I think they're they're a good bit lower level than us. Um, so, At least on these characters, yeah, on the characters yeah. that he was playing. So we wanted we wanted to win, but <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> we we tried very you, hard. You can't win them all, but it's just two games with us, and uh, we'll let you guys see who wins the second one. But uh, yeah, so you're playing the Orochi, and like I played this one mostly. You played the Orochi pretty much completely. Yeah, yeah. The Orochi was my go-to class, which I know the Orochi is actually probably the most most popular class in the game. Yes. I, I see him more often than anything. He's, he's really good. Um, I definitely think, as far as his moves, they are some of the most aesthetically pleasing moves. They oh, look without so a sick. doubt. Um, but uh, yeah, so I am the Nabushi, which is the um, hybrid for the samurai, and the Orochi is the assassin. Yes, yeah. It, it appeals to a lot of the, the large... Execute? Yeah! <laughs> oh, the beautiful execute with the with the flower petals. Yeah, the cherry blossoms. I, I caved and I bought that. I, I couldn't resist. Yeah, that was the first thing you bought. I, I remember you telling me just day one. Uh, I was saying, you should uh, save up for the scavenge gear. You're yeah. like, no, no, I no. need that outfit. I'm going for that 15,000 <laughs> steel outfit, which was totally worth it. Yeah, you didn't stop playing until you got that outfit, I'm mm, pretty sure. That move, that was rough. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, you can't win them all. No, uh, you can't. And, like, and, and we said earlier, we got back into the game from a long time, so it was basically a day of us warming up, because Ow. you really can't go into this game cold. You, you really can't, especially after taking so much time off, because we took probably two, three weeks off. Yeah, yeah, we did, and we were just playing some other stuff. We were trying to get back into Overwatch a little bit. I thought I had him on the push, but he didn't fall, so... They're so hard to yeah. push off. I'm, I'm kind of being a cheeky bastard right now. Yeah, that, that was... Yeah, crazy. cheese to win right there, For my honor, the, the game with the <laughs> least honor. <laughs> It really is questionable honor at times. I mean, they put you right on like alleged areas, so it's like who's gonna they push do. each other off first? Yeah, or, or you like run to a place that's safe to fight. But, See, um, that is the thing. The well, a lot of people will complain about how people utilize the environment a lot, pushing people off ledges or into spikes. They put the those aspects into the game for a reason. Yeah. So while yeah, it is cheesy and it makes for a quick fight or an uninteresting fight, 
it does also feel kind of satisfying when you pull it off. It does. And I mean, you don't have to walk Rough. to the ledge to be exactly. in a position to have, like, a lot of times I'm going to fight like this and I'll wait. I will sit and I'll wait for him to come to me. So Absolutely. we both don't have to fight on the ledge. Mo today. Most of the time, if I know that some person is at a disadvantage for their positioning on the map, I'll try and be, do the honorable thing. Yeah, but you can tell right here that this guy's just not having it. He wants, he wants me to either come over there, or he's just gonna get a, try to get a See, lucky right, ledge push. Right I try there, to get him. he's trying. And I think I had him again, but he hit the pole, the, the one yep. foot long pole. Oh, I remember that. Belt. I was, cause you see <laughs> me watching over there. That's, I, uh, I saw the disrespect in the distance. I guess that's karma. But, I, but uh, right here is probably one of my biggest misplays. I I didn't time it right at all. Yeah. I I messed up my spacing horribly. Well, also you're going in for the two v one. Yeah. Um, the the other class, like I said earlier, the other class I play is the berserker, which is the one that is fighting you right now. Um, and he is the assassin for the Vikings. And even though they're so different looking and their weapons are different, the way you want to play him is the same as you. A lot of dodging and a lot of getting in on your opponent after they attack. Uh, absolutely. I rarely see Berserkers actually block unless it's going for a parry. I rarely see Berserkers attack first. Unless they're going for the oh, lunch, definitely. Right? Definitely. They're... So uh, this, okay, this is game two. Uh, we're playing the same guys, uh, same characters uh, on their part and on our part. Um, and we am pretty sure we win this one. I, uh, I'm actually not sure on yeah. this. This was this was so long ago. Yeah. Another area right here, the top of this tower, where you can easily push somebody off. So who's gonna get the lucky uh, he, guard he break? gets the subtle BM going in there with yeah. the emotes. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the guard break, so I just let him hit me with an attack just straight on. Yeah, we're both we're both guard breaks. <laughs> yeah, there, there's nothing you can do here. Yeah. Uh, th and these guys, like, I don't think they're that experienced be because my kick. You can easily side dodge it. Um, they're just not side dodging the kick. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like these guys are not a a very high level simply because we were able to land our combos with almost impunity. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the the more experienced players, you you struggle to not only start your combo but to get to the end is almost impossible. Yeah, definitely, definitely true. Um, and like like we were saying earlier, with people being better now, they're learning the way each character plays. So they're finding the right moment to get out of each character's combo, which I haven't played enough of all the different characters to know exactly, you know, the way they work. And that is kind of a disadvantage to me, but I just got to play more, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we're at a significant disadvantage going into anything but the, the brawls and duels simply because of the item level difference. Because right now, I'm seeing the vast majority of people I go up against have the max level, the 108. Yeah, and we're, we're pretty high. I think I, on this character, I'm 85, and um, I'm uh, I do well. 60. I do well, but you find out that when you go up against a higher level in the 4v4s or uh, the Dom uh, Dominion game type, they literally are doing so much damage that they can three shot you sometimes. And then if you hit them, then it's like facing a raid boss because they immediately get revenge back yeah. and they yeah. have an extra health bar. And I, I've literally been one shot by the Shugoki, the the big uh, samurai character, their tank, um, because he was level 108 oh. yep. and he did the unblockable charge strike, which is easy to dodge, but I didn't dodge it and it one shot me from full health. And this was when I was lower, but still. That's just absolutely crazy. Because one thing that doesn't change, even though all your skills change, is the character's base health. Yeah. That never uh, changes. No, you can't edit that. that. That is definitely something that I've found very interesting. Yeah. That you can alter their defense or even your ability to counter defense, but you can't up your base health at all. Yeah. You're, each character is a single entity. As you can see, uh, the most effective way to play this character is poke, 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 Yeah, poke, get the bleed, poke, get poke, the poke. bleed and run away. Yeah, poke, that's poke, yeah, get the bleed and just get out. And luckily, uh, I think I get that off on him. And this is the last, this, yeah, if we win this, we win the game. Yeah, I, I think we, we do end up winning this. Yeah. I think you go Haas here. Oh, oh and you know I got it. Yep, you the know beautiful flower petals. Awesome. That's that's definitely a way to end it. Yeah, oh, I definitely, the one thing I do love about this Oh, it's this not game, over. It's not nope, over. It's <laughs> not over just yet. I got, I got, I got cocky. You should have attacked me head on. should have 2v1 me. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're Matt Abbott. Please like, subscribe, and let us know if you like the video. And um, we'll see you in the next one. See you next time, guys.